Thank you. All right, first of all, let me say uh, I'm really, really proud of my team. I, I, uh, these young guys, uh, most of our guys have never been uh, involved in the ACC tournament. Um, they came over and played with great courage. That was a gutsy, tough win. Uh, Miami, I thought, in the second half, offensively played really good. We had some trouble stopping them, but we stepped up and made some big plays late. TJ, as he always does, put us right on his back. Ralston stepped up made a couple of huge shots for us. Key defensive rebounds late in the game, I thought. But, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're excited uh, for these young guys to do what they've done this year. I'm, I'm really proud of them. Well, first of all, I think they're really a great team. You know, they, they spent more weeks, I think, at number one than anybody else in the country. And, uh, you know, we played well up there, and, uh, but we let one get away. You know, we were in a position to win, and we didn't close it out. Um, I think with Jeremy Grant back now, he missed some time. I think they're playing with great confidence, they're, and they're really good. And uh, the only time they really haven't been good is when he was out. So, you know, it's a great opportunity for our players, uh, you know, to play against a great team. And so I think our guys are going to be excited about it. Well, here's what happens a little bit when you're playing against a team. Miami zoned us a lot, you know, in both, both times we played them. Um, and with TJ and Ralston, those guys have seen the triangle in two. They've seen boxing ones. You know, we've seen that a lot this year. So, you know, we just keep emphasizing they have to keep moving. You got to keep moving without the ball. You can't allow those things to slow you down. TJ did a great job of that. Uh, Ralston did as well. And I think that's kind of how they got open because they had great movement without the ball. Even if the ball went to the post, just keep moving, keep cutting. Uh, TJ got a nice layup there from Jordan on a nice cut when Jordan had the ball in the post. But uh, with both Ralston and TJ, teams have done that to us a lot. Um, Syracuse not going to do that. They're going to play their normal zone. And, and I think uh, our guys, you know, we feel we've seen enough of that too this year. We'll be prepared. We'll be ready. Well, it's not about payback. It's about opportunity. And we've got an opportunity tomorrow that uh, is golden. Couldn't ask for a better one. Uh, I don't think anybody spent more time at number one this year than Syracuse. Uh, we played them very tough up there. And uh, we felt pretty bad walking out of that locker room that night. So we, we get another opportunity, and it's a golden opportunity. So it's up to us. And uh, we got to come ready to play against a really good team tomorrow. With Grant back, you know, they're a, they're a Final Four team. They've shown it all year long. It's going to be a great opportunity to go home and play them again. Um, we're going to be amped up to play them. So we're just going to come out aggressive with a lot of energy and be ready to play. Well, TJ is a great player, and we all know it. And our players know TJ is a great player, but he needs other people to help him score. He needs that. And Ralston tonight stepped up. Whether it was Jordan on a tip in or some foul shots, Cat, it doesn't matter. You know, he, for us to be a good team, TJ's going to do a lot of the scoring. And, uh, but he's got to have guys like today. Ralston had a great hot hand, made a couple big ones. Makes our team better. So we need everybody. And uh, uh, tonight, Ralston, I thought, really, you know, played with great confidence too, helped us.